Hey everyone, welcome back. We're playing some Tristana Teemo today, a fun little aggro deck that might actually be pretty good after the patch. Uh, while I only had one or two changes, I'm actually really excited to see how it plays. It has an amazing win rate right now at uh, 58%. Pretty crazy. So that might be a good deck for a while because this deck was actually pretty good a few patches ago. Maybe two patches ago before standard rotation. Uh, before Tristana got nerfed, was it? Or yeah, when Atrocity got nerfed, that's what it was that killed the deck, because it was a Shadow Isles version. So yeah, I'm excited to give this one a try, see how it plays. Some new cards like Pirouette are nice for the deck. And Banal Gunners is a really interesting top-end card that I've never used before. Uh, 10 mana, 5-5 five, five spell shield, but it costs 1 less for each multi-region allies you summon in this game. Very Wiggly Burble Fish-esque. One of them summoned Grimmy Impact 3 times. So a nice little way to like guarantee some extra damage over the finish line. I think it'll be fun to try out. I always like this style of deck. I really had a blast with Tristana Teemo back when that Atrocity deck was still around. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a try. If you guys are tuning in just now, um, hopefully this will be a nice long stream, like two hours or more, hopefully. So, ooh, you have to see Tristana Teemo first game mirror match. Uh, yeah, so feel free to tune in and recommend some decks with the new patch live. I have no idea what's good. I'm excited to try some new things. I totally thought that it was the Eternal that was the next few tournaments, but the next few tournaments are still in standard. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that too, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're in standard, so... I thought we were going to play playing Eternal today, but we're not. Um, probably going to... Maybe tack in a few Eternal decks now and then, just if they're, like, cool. Like, I was really excited to play some Nightfall, like the Diana Nocturne version. With Stygian Onlooker and Eternal and everything. With some of the new updates. But, um... Maybe not now. I'm probably just going to go Grumbleflug here. It's a decent stat line. And it allows us to go 2 mana, 1 un mana unit next turn. Right? Like, there's no real need for us to play just a Teemo this turn. I don't really... Like, they could have Blast Code Seedling, Banal Commando. But I think I think Grumbleflug's probably a decent card in this matchup to get in some early damage in turn 2. The deck I want to play later for sure is um the Diana Aurelian Soul Jack deck. I think that looks cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to get Grandfather Fey down to help buff up our other stuff and Teemo. I guess Teemo doesn't really do much here, though. So maybe in that case I just go, um, double two jump next turn. Hopefully Hookmaster dies so we can get the equipment on Teemo. This is weird. I don't like this mirror match so far. I feel like <laughs> we just don't have, like, any, um... Interaction, right? Like without Pogi Stick, it feels kind of awkward to do stuff. Hmm, I probably have to go Pan of Pain here. Otherwise, they just get a free block. And it's not really going to do much. I guess I'll take Barrier for now. Try to get into extra damage. They don't have any units that can take a positive block here. Also, we have two Banal Gunners in hand. That seems kind of nasty. By our next turn, we play Teemo that drops him down to 3, so on our following attack turn we can get double Bandle Gunners down. That's pretty good. I guess we also need Tristana. That's probably probably the backbreaker in this mirror match. She'll just deal so much damage, because I don't know if we have really any way to deal with her. We run... 2 cup is Pirouette. And Nox and Fervor won't kill her when she's leveled. Yeah, interesting. We could just play one Bandle Gunners here. Then what happens? We go down to one mana. We play Teemo. This goes down to three. I guess that's fine. This just kind of shuts off their attack. Hmm. I'm probably just going to have to trade this if they attack with it, right? Yeah. They're not living up any mana. Like, they don't have any pump spells anyways in this deck. I think this works out okay for us. 
I'm pretty happy to trade. I'm pretty... Yeah, pretty happy to just go here. I don't know if I want to kill this, because then I can just put Overwhelm on Tristana. So I'll lock here, here. Spell shield doesn't really matter. We're not summoning many more phase, so just save the 3 damage, I suppose. And then keep Teemo alive to equip afterwards. Sure, seems good. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about here is running into an opponent's pirouette. Nox and Ferber can also kill Teemo, but I don't know if that's really the end of the world. We have enough mana to do all these three things at the moment. Let's see what we draw. Okay. That might change things. Double Bandle Gunners pushes six damage, potentially. And is that any better than getting Teemo to a 3-1 with Tough? Then they just run, they just block the Bandle Gunners with the Iron Hook Master and equip it to, team, uh, to um, Tristana anyway, probably. Let's just start with Bandle Gunners number one, I suppose. That still leaves up our options. Because the spell shield might actually make it so, um... Oh, right, so they just, uh, equip the, yeah. Well, that pretty much shuts off our team up plan. We could just force the Brothers Band. Or we could just equip any team out anyways, right? Try to force them to block. Because I want them to lose this Gandalf Mando, right? I don't think it's worth it to really Brothers Band here. Doesn't Brothers Bond doesn't do much. I need to stop them from getting enough Hungry Alcats here. I Like, if they go wide, I think that's our biggest problem. I'd rather just overwhelm them with the impact from Bandle Gunners. That's really good. Oh, jeepers. That's not good. Okay, that's actually pretty problematic. I'm probably going to have to stun something. I imagine I'm just going to stun Bandle Commando. And I guess just deal one to face. We block with Bandle Gunners. We could block with Teemo. I guess it depends how low we are here. Going down to two. We lose to Brothers Bond. So I think we're going to have to lose our Teemo. They have Might as well, so we could lose here. Well, I don't know if we'd lose. We'd take a lot of damage, though. Sure, we'll go down to one. And then I don't know if we can finish them off now. We'll need to hit our own Might. It's not going to do it. Yeah, it's stressful. You never know when the opponent can just rip a might. Okay. Well, then we don't have any way to stop the elusive unless we hit a fervor off the top and then we win. So yeah, we win through fervor. Oh. <laughs> right, right. I was like, why are they shooting their own unit? Because of the careless pastry. That's good. That was a fun little game. It was really close. Uh, yeah, definitely think... I think if... um. If we had a Might to use on our Bandle Commando when we attacked with Teemo that one turn, right before he died, that might have been enough. We would, could have put it on the Bandle Gunners. Or if we ever hit, like, Tristana. But neither of us hit Tristana. That was a close game. I like that. Yo, is this the, um, Shurima card that, like, shuffles random cards in your deck, the champions? Alright, uh, I guess we just go 2-drop, 3-drop. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, sure.
Wow, this is a nice curve. Bandle Gunners is so nice to have in your opening hand just because it like reduces it. Oh no, it reduces it. Sorry, like it, I was thinking it was like um. What well, isn't there a card that like, like Vi almost right when it's um. You have to see the card in your hand be played type thing. I think it's the one that self sacrifices to summon champs. Ooh, I don't know if I remember that card. I was thinking the one that um just came out recently. I thought that one shuffled cards into your like champions into the bottom of your deck. You know what I mean? Could get Hookmaster down. I don't know if that's really going to do much, though. I guess I guess we might as well. Like, if we get Scout, we just put that onto Teemo. Combat Reel is also pretty good. I don't like this card anymore. It just it never gets big enough. The equipment's nice, obviously, but... Like, I don't even really care to attack with this, or block this right now. I don't think the damage is the most important thing, so I'll just let that go. And the goal is eventually we'll just go wide enough that either this slips through. Ooh... Tana. Probably just gonna save her until she's leveled though. Negative four health to add a champ to hand. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you mean. Good point, good point. Uh, I like watering shepherd here. It allows us to improvise onto Timo or Tristana. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I definitely forgot about that one. What's the like I never use them, so like what's the what's the Shrima card that just came out in the most recent expansion that shuffles cards in the bottom of your deck? That was the one I was thinking about. This is a cool little pile, though. These are some champions I haven't like, seen in a while. Like, I haven't seen Trindamir or Sejuani or Zir really at all since rotation. Oh, that's a nice one. I'll take this block. And they have, they have Flare Shrima. I think we just have a free block here. If they have, like, Shape Zone or something, I guess we get punished. Secret Keeper, yeah. Ah, Inner Beast. Okay, well that was dumb. I didn't need to do that. I guess I was just being greedy about the damage, but... Yeah. Awkward, now we can't play two units. That was probably stupid. I probably should have just taken the two damage. In that case, I probably just play our four mana unit. Next turn we can play three mana plus two mana unit. Seems good to me. Ah! Read the card! Why am I not reading the card? <laughs> I forgot this was conditional. Oh my gosh, I haven't played that card in a while. Yoinks. Wow, that's stupid. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, okay, okay. We're throwing games over here. Threw my poor Banal City Mayor on the bus. Didn't read the card. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoops, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we want to do here? I'm pretty happy to get Banal or Grandfather Faye set up. Because our opponent still hasn't put the pressure onto us. And just slam down a Tristana. Hmm. Well, that gives us a chance to at least get one free attack with her. I love her voice lines too. I wasn't a huge fan of Tristana, but a few weeks ago, months ago, whenever that, when she was less popular, I started playing her a ton and she really grew on me. How are we scared of her dying? Do they play like very nice and stuff? We can get a pretty nasty hand going here. Can we play this this turn? I guess it reduces by one for each each time, right? So maybe not. Maybe I, I don't think I'm just gonna get storm the board here. Nice. That's pretty big. There's a very good chance they have a freeze though next turn, right? Or at the very least, quicksand. I'll play Grumble Slug. It just has that nice three health break point at the moment. Whereas Blast Cut Ceiling would be nice for the impact, but we would just trade. I'm kind of running into a bear nice, but I'm going to open attack. So hopefully we don't get quite as punished. And then I'll swing in with everything. Fervor is also not too bad. So we can do potentially, like if they had Unforgiving Cold. Or Harsh Winds, yeah. We can go Brothers Bond to push an extra 4 damage and set an extra 3 damage with Fervor. Listen to me. Survival through 
Hmm. Hmm. They only have two cards in hand. I'm thinking just kill their units here. Or no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, if they, um... If they don't block Tristana, they take six damage from Brothers Bond plus four impact. Well, in that case, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just gonna kill their units. Or if I go Brothers Bond here plus here... We go 2 damage onto Grimmel Slug, 3 plus for the impact, plus 4 from Tristano. So we're dealing an extra 7 damage. They go down to 3, and then we kill them with Fervor. Hmm, mm hmm, okay. Ooh, tricky. Can we still get them here? No, they're 1 out of range. Okay, well, they still go down to 3, so we're good. Nice. That was a fun little swarm game with all the impacts. Our opponent didn't really do all that much, though. They kind of just ramped and had freezes. <laughs> Good game. I'm pretty happy with some of the decks I've seen so far. It looks like the format's pretty wide open. Obviously, it's still so soon after the patch that it's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like there's some fun stuff to mess around with. Like, a lot of the, the decks that were good, like Karma Set has a 52% win rate. Samir Varus has... Or let me go... Sorry, current patch. It's Karma Set, 52%. Samir Varus, 50%. Ash LeBlanc, 53%. Fissamira, 51%. Like, none of the decks look completely obsolete. Like, they all look like they are tuned down proportionately. Ooh, do we go with the elusive on turn two? I think that's much higher upside than boss could seem like. I just want them to play something other than Smear on turn two. Smear is definitely more balanced now. I actually don't know if I've even played against Samira on the new patch yet. Maybe one game. But yeah, it's definitely nice that she got tuned down a little bit. Oof. Yeah, I'd really like to get Battle Commando down here. And yeah, okay, we definitely can't kill commando so if we go commando plus timo i suppose next turn seems good i'm glad about the patch changes yeah i thought they were all very reasonable um it seemed like they didn't like destroy too many decks <laughs> and uh some of the other changes and stuff made it like interesting to try out some new decks i think it looks pretty good i'm happy about it I guess they could have... No, they don't play the build shorter ones. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I'm probably just going to develop Teemo into the challenge anyway next turn. We get an extra five puff caps in the deck. And maybe they'll leave Bandle Commando around, which I think might be actually better in this matchup. Because Varus Samira tends to rely on just like Varus and Samira getting huge and unstoppable. And if we can go wide, that well, seems pretty decent to me. If they open attack, they just kill one thing. That's not the end of the world. If they don't open attack, we could probably stun Samira. Save some damage. Save our Teemo. Okay. They do go after the Bane of Mando. Sounds good. I think I'm okay with that. We have another in hand. We already got two Owlcats out of the deal. And... They don't really have any good blockers. I should try out Mono Shurima. Ooh, yeah, that'd be interesting. I've heard, um... 
Uh, I, I think it was Trickster Star uploaded a video about it. I was going to watch that later today. I'm definitely interested to see how that is. Because, yeah, that's like, that's like a staple Legends of Runeterra deck. I hate playing against that deck. <laughs> but it definitely feels like quintessential Legends of Runeterra. Do I want to stun something next turn? Do I want to keep up any mana for just in case? Or should I just get the commando down? I feel like the commando into Tristan is fine. Because we're probably going to lose the two Alcats here. So we'll have the board space afterwards to develop. Oh, but then Tristana just dies to Samira. Maybe I don't play Tristana yet. Maybe, yeah, maybe I don't. I think I'm going to wait on Tristana. Because she, she only does one damage right now, right? And they can just like chump block. I think we have a good enough... I mean, our robot attack really isn't all that great. Hmm, what do we do? If we open attack, they take two damage. They lose a unit. Interesting. I feel like I'm a little bit of a pickle. I'd like some more utility here. Do we have any, like... What are our best cards in this kind of matchup? Yeah, I mean, we have... Uh, Bandle City Mayor maybe be able to, can find us some flexible units. But we don't really have any ways of targeting Samira. We could, like, fervor Samira. That seems kind of bad. I might do that, like, next turn or something. For now, I think I'm just going to swing in. I'm not particularly impressed with this turn, though. I don't think it applies enough pressure to them to, like, force them to use any of their key cards in a negative way. Like, they can kind of just chump block with their dude that they probably want to die anyways to re-equip the equipment. Hmm. Like, do I want to even knock Seed Fervor that? Or do I want to... Or do I want to just replay this eventually? I think I'm just going to try to kill Samira. If they, if, if they can't keep Samira safe, our Tristana is safe. And that's the best way for us to win this, I think. Because All Out doesn't save her now, which is pretty big. <laughs> that one, that card was definitely problematic at times for me. I just find this such a hard decision, because I'm not sure if I should kill my own unit when it's not being killed, right? Like, it's just being recalled in my hand. But, like, we're also getting cards out of there. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't thinking momentous choice. Well, that's actually really worrisome. Because now, like, uh, Samira's level, we can't kill her with Pirouette. We have to keep up Pirouette in case they can rally at some point. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I think I just have to let this go for now. I can't really develop into here. Interesting. That was awkward. Maybe I should have just let that recall go through. No problem. I don't think I'm going to take this 5 damage from Samira. I'll probably just steal the Green Feather Fae under the bus. Like, this attack's really not all that bad. They could have gone, done a lot worse this turn. We kind of get to develop our stuff. Try to keep up. We could even develop Tristana next turn, maybe. If we only have two units, <laughs> we can just stun the Ambitious Cultist and leave Samir as their only blocker. That could push a lot of damage. There is so much power in us. They probably also play Furious with it, though, right? So that's worrisome. We could try to slow play it to try to get just done out last, see if they'll bite. Okay, that's a good card. Nice. Got the plunder. Ooh, Poro Sled. Is that good enough? It might be. They don't really have any good blockers for it. I think that might be our best play here. 
Um, I guess Bandle Gunners does a similar thing with Spell Shield. But the other two don't seem all that impressive either. Pelt of and Castaway seems fine. Maybe that's worth it. We can go Pelt of and Castaway for two. That would reduce Bandle Gunners' mana to two. Okay. I don't know if I want to override a unit, though. I just feel like Tristana dies immediately. I think we're actually in a good spot if they try to rally, if they can't do it at burst speed. All right, Teemo. I'm gonna take one for the team. I'm so happy about that. People hate Teemo. Oh my gosh, they like literally just killed my one one <laughs> with their Furious Wielder. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so is it Tristana? I still don't think so. Well, no, they they have yeah they have vulnerable. So I'm just going to play our other two units and just again. Maybe like if we get overwhelmed with the equipment here, we can go for Tristana one shot our next attack turn. There you go. I don't know if we can get out of this. Because they're going to push damage here since they have the burst speed rally. Man. Oh. Interesting. Ferris is doing so much damage. I guess we have the chump lock, huh? Can we kill them though after this? I don't think so. But we'll be able to. I yeah, I don't know. I think I don't think we can win. Let this go. Stun Varus. I don't know, I felt kind of helpless. Like, we had Pyro intern, I could have preemptively tried to do it, but... Hmm, I guess I should do this. So this can die to Bindlesley Mare. But they just open, open attack kill us with Varus, right? Like, I don't think we have any interaction for that. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything. We don't have like um wall burning on our deck. Okay, good game. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I feel like I should have done different something different there. Heck yeah, okay. Just the Diana Aesol version, not the Jack version. Playing Bandle City instead of Bilgewater. Hmm. I'm interested to see what this is. I love Bandle City Bear. I feel like that's pretty much always a keep in this deck. 
I'm really not sold that this is a good card. We were peaceful once. Like, it just dies to, like, every one drop, pretty much. <laughs> it just never feels good. And it can never, it can almost never kill anything other than one drops, either. That feels kind of like it locks down our early game. Do we even attack? Like, it puts us down to one so that it can trade with this later on in the game. At least if we leave this up, we could use Brother's Bond later on to kill something important with it. Or like if we equip it with equipment. Eek. It seems bad. I don't know. I feel like there are a lot of things that shut off my deck. Maybe I should have just like slammed down Tristana last game. But what would he have done? Like they just instantly challenge us to me on the next turn. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. I trade in good damage or force them to block. But I'm not sure if, like, mind blocking, because this guy would be, like, full health by the time he it matters again, you know what I mean? Because we didn't have any mana to threaten a spell, I don't think, at least. Ooh, what was that? Oh, Trinket Trade, okay. I love that card back. That's so cool. The. I can't think of his name. The little ferret dude. Why do I know? The. Hmm, I don't know why I can't remember that card name. Anyways, you know what I mean. It's pretty cool. I taste purple. Hmm. Hmm. I might just go pirouette now. Oh, slamming down Trist earlier last game. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I agree. I probably should have just been more aggressive with it. I could go Pirouette now. It pushes a good chunk of damage. But then I just swing back next turn and heal with this dude anyways. Heal with the Tasty Faith Hulk. Ah, oh, Jeepers. I don't know. I feel like I'm just like riding into a roadblock here. I'm not sure what to do. I think we just kind of have to accept that this dude's going to live for a turn or two. <laughs> like, I don't want to attack with Owlcat because it doesn't even kill the youngling. And I won't have a unit to trade with the Fae Folk. Tristana might be pretty good here, though. That, the quick attack is nice. Okay. Hmm. Man, I feel totally stuck. <laughs> I like their stuff is just bigger than ours at the moment. Okay, well, that seems fine. I, I'm probably just gonna attack first. I don't really want to overwrite units. I, I, I literally don't even know if this is a winnable matchup here. I'm thinking just swing in with everything right away, see however they want to block. 
and just keep swarming them afterwards. Like, I'm not going to override unit because we just need to go six wide as often as possible. Like, none of our units really do much here. This would be nice, obviously, like the three elusive damage. But I'm not sure if I want to overwrite the unit right now. So I might just open attack. But then we're losing our mares. If we can keep getting the owl cats, maybe we're in okay shape. I just don't know if we're like outlasting them really here. I don't, like they're gonna have such a more powerful light game than us. Maybe if we find Tristana soon enough. I don't know if I ever looked at the full art for this. That's kind of funny. I kind of want to play our tenor of terror, so I might, I might. Ooh, that's a good card. I think this is a really good card. I like that. Nice. Okay, that can help us trade pretty well. Either of our champions would be fantastic. I guess all these units die to perilous pastries, huh? Alright. Chaos Pastries are slow speed. They didn't kill our units, so we might actually get some decent value out of them here. I'll swing into that everything. I just don't know if we're killing them fast enough. If we can kill those two units, that'd be pretty big. Hmm. I like that play. That seems decent. So in that case, I'm probably just going to push some extra damage and kill their Cosmic Youngling. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, we get to kill this guy at least. That's nice. And they don't have this dude. Like, their hand's kind of dead, but they're going to get some more invokes. But we can reflood the board pretty comfortably. Oh, that's my favorite too. Hmm. Far away worlds, galaxies, all connected. I'll play Hookmaster, I suppose. Just a unit that I'm happy to block with if they attack. I uh, maybe I should have just taken the impact there. I was thinking more upfront damage on the actual stats, but impact seems nice too. Nice, love that card. For Tassana. <laughs> I like that. This card is pretty sweet. I 
I just don't feel like I have too much agency here. I don't know. My guys just don't seem to be doing much. <laughs> Maybe I just played the deck wrong, but I feel like I'm kind of just like running into decks that have bigger dudes and better spells. Like without just done atrocity, right? We don't have really that super easy win con. Um, I can go. I can go here to kill their seven seven. I think that's probably worth it because we have spell shield, so it might be difficult to stop. There's the big dude. Pretty cool. They got some cool cards in their deck, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, we have Might and Fervor. But no more units, so this is kind of all we got. Oh. Okay. Well, that's probably it then. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. Was there any way for us to be more aggressive? I feel like if we attack more often early on, we just throw away early units too fast. Oh. Rats. Alright, let's try one more. Maybe I need a mulligan harder for Shastana since she's such a key unit. Ooh, Nar version. I like Nar. We're going for Tristana. We have enough early units that we can make up for it if we don't find her, but we need her. Especially in the mirror match. They have Demacia though, that's awkward. Are they playing like champion strength or something? I wonder what that's all about. That certainly seemed like they had Teemo. <laughs> They might play that Perilous Pastry, but I don't think I'm willing to run into that rather than guarantee they get the Owl Cat. My guess is this matchup is best if you kind of just like set up a combo turn. Where like, oh excuse me, you play a bunch of stuff with Vandal City Mayor, you get Tristana on board leveled. Because like right now playing Grandfather Fae Hungry Owl Cat doesn't seem all that impressive. Because like a Grumble Slug would stop the Owl Cat. Grandfather Fae isn't pushing much pressure himself. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Not in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. This is Mama's house. Well, I'm pretty happy to get the Bandle Commando out of the way before they can use a big pump spell. Hmm. I kind of like the quick attack, I think. If we can force some nice trades later on, I think, I think I'm happy with that. More than just the one extra damage that can still block and die. Can we level up Tristana here? Hmm. I think we can. Oh wow, I haven't seen that card in a while. I'll go barrier so we can attack with him. Our opponent might run single combat, but oops. Put the jump scare one second. Now what do we do? Do we play just on anyway? Stop it! I don't even know who that is. That might be like a male person or something. Okay. <laughs> Stop it!
Again, I feel kind of just sad about not knowing when to play Tristana. <laughs> like, what do we get from playing her here? She'd still be, like, at 2 health. But we just expose her without having Naxxon Forever up. Maybe I'll just take my attack. But then we just lose so much. Like, these guys can't attack. It's just a free trade. Ah! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess I try to force as many trades as possible because they have Fortimasi in hand. So even if they put two damage on Tristana for free, if they block here, I don't really think that matters. Well, I guess I guess we get Buster Shot. I didn't think about that. Another barrier. Okay, so that doesn't particularly matter. Well, in that case, I think I'll just attack. Hope they don't have all out, or not all out. Uh, form up. And just try to kill as many units as we can before they play Ford Masi next turn. So they're probably just going to open with this, right? So I'll, I'll just shoot the Gleaming Lantern. Next turn we could Fervor a unit if necessary. And then we can refill our board pretty easily, so maybe it's not the end of the world if we just chump block a unit or two. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to Fervor a unit. It stops essentially two big attacks and then play Barrier Seedling. Uh, I don't know if the extra... I think I'm just going to kill Grandfather Fae. Because at least next turn, this will still trade with their units if we try to get aggressive. Yeah, we're kind of stuck to just lose a bunch of our units here. We can do this, and then if we attack with either of these, block with the Blast Gun Seedling. That seems fine. And I guess we have to do that with um, the other one. I'll probably keep Vandal City Mare alive over these two, I suppose. Sure. Tristana should be big enough that if we just go wide, even if they play like a defensive for Demacia, it won't matter too much. Okay, this will reduce them both down to three. Oh, okay. Good game. I don't know why they started there. I don't like they didn't know necessarily we had enough to kill them or anything, right? But I guess we'll take it. Interesting. Um, what was that? What was the key point in that match? I guess I guess the champion strength just really cost them. Like, they didn't get enough out of it for their whole turn, and they were just like out of units after the turn. Set karma. Okay, I'm interested to see this matchup because I didn't really expect a ton of set karma to be played after the patch necessarily, but we might just be able to swarm them down fast enough. I like this as a keep. But it is obviously nice to look for Karma. Or, uh, excuse me, Tristana. But it just seems like a really, really good combo. Oh, they're playing the Ionia Targon version. Do they really have any interaction for our Teemo except for, like, recalls? And set? I feel like the PNC version was so much better cooked for decks like this. Like all of our stuff dies to the Caustic Rip or Mystic Shot. I 
I think I'll get Bandle Commando set up first. So we can open attack next turn, potentially. Because we don't have a unit that could trade with us very easily yet. And although, if we open attack versus develop, what are we running into? Like, if they have a Concussive Palm, they can kind of use that whenever. If they want to use it, even. I think I'll just open attack. You're doing some Alcat spam into Bandle Commando? Yeah, <laughs> into Bandle Gunners? Yep, pretty much. Ooh, Falling Star. Okay. We could Fervor. And then just go um, Grandfather Fate plus double Alcat next turn. Like, that seems fine. We put them down to 14 already, but they just, they're healing pretty often. I think. A learns by doing. I think I let this go. I don't know. Maybe I should just take the three damage there. But I think we're fine to just develop more here. Use our mana elsewhere. Um, they also are playing set the next attack turn. Hopefully. Um, or if they have it, they would, they would, right? They can't do it this turn. Ooh. Well, we're going really wide now. Can we play these both next turn? Only five mana? So probably not. I don't think there's any, any combination that would let us play both. Like, um, Tenor of Terror is nice, obviously, as it counts for two. Double Might is a really nice finisher, but we're not quite at the finish stage yet. <laughs> I still think we just swing in. We can just use up one Might to kill this. Does that really do anything? Uh, I think, I think I'm just gonna play Bandle Gunners. The Splash Shield's really awkward for them, too. Hmm. We'll have double Bandle Gunners and Owl Cats, so we'll have tons of units with Spell Shield. Or an Owl Cat exposed at this point. Ten of Terror, nice. Drinks are cold and got okay, well, no set, so I'm pretty happy to just develop here. Ten of Terror seems fine. We would reduce this down to three, so we wouldn't be able to play it this turn. Maybe, I think it's just better to play Tenor of Terror in the equipment this turn. Maybe set up an open attack. Finish them off with double Might and Fervor. I think we might be able to win that way. Hmm. Okay. Tristana, that's good. Is it good enough? It's just another huge threat, right? That could win with Overwhelm. If they're just recalling this. Now if they recall Tristana, we still at least get the three damage off of the Gunners. Okay. Obviously, if they have another Concussive Palm, that's probably their best option here. Whoa. Okay, I think it might be better to go Fervor instead of Might, if this fizzles the heal. If not, how much damage are we doing? Four in the air, seven through three impact, eight, nine. And then at least one unit on the ground is hitting. It would just be this. So maybe, maybe Might is better. 14 damage is a lot. That puts him down to 10, potentially deals. Three plus 
I don't think we get there if we just go for might. I think I'm just gonna play my next Vandal Gunners then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, Cat Universe. Just gonna throw down another Vandal Gunners here. They don't have any good trades for it, so. Kinda awkward for them. And we have, like, next attack turn. I still don't think they can be able to stop us by then. Yeah, this is just a ton of damage. Okay, cool. That is enough. Triple impact is pretty nasty, isn't it? <laughs> Well, that was clean. Ish. I wouldn't say clean. I don't actually know if I played that well. <laughs> but it, it was a pretty comfortable win. The, they didn't really have a set to pick off units. Loser Beam. I feel like I played against him more than I've played against any other Hiring player. He was the first Hiring player I remember playing and I was like, oh my gosh, do I work out? Like in real life? Uh, I'm not much of a gym rat, but I do run like three or four times a week. I can go Bandle Commander on two, since Samira won't be able to kill her right away. I'm going to be much more aggressive with Tristana this game. See how that goes. Because if we give them the chance to set up, they literally are just going to run us over, right? I wonder if I overvalue Bandle Commando. It seems like a good card, but I, I'm, I wonder if it's like always a keep, or if we should just pitch it because we have so many two drops and one drops. That's pretty much replaceable. Hmm. Tempting pass. We go double two drop next turn. Do I take this pass? If they have Samira, it's just a free kill for them. I'm going to play Samira though anyway. Just to try to get after the elusive. That's like total psycho psychological mind games. Oh, lure. Okay. Definitely not what I expected. That's nice though. It's a good, good card. Okay, I, I think I'm okay because I didn't kill Bandle Commando. Is our, if our Swarm plane is worth it, I'm not sure. I think Tenor of Terror is fine here. It gets wide the same number of creatures or units in just one action, so our opponent can't develop as many blockers. Mm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Do we swing it anyways? I feel like that's so bad. But it gets damage on the unit, right? Or kills this one. Like, it'll make it awkward for them to block in the future. Hopefully. Because next time we're going to get, like, three units down. Then we can play Tristana. Or if we play Tristana first. But if Tristana dies, it doesn't really matter. She's kind of vulnerable in this matchup. Two Grimble stuck into Might, interesting. See, I think I think I don't value that play enough. Like that would have been a, that would have been a decent play here. I don't even know if I want to attack here. Like, do I just? I think I just leave this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just I'll just come here. I think you're right. That would have been so much nicer if I had a, a pump spell there to kill a unit. I view this as almost like a finishing card, like an Absolver on Tristana to finish the game. But like if I was able to actually kill the ranged knight defector there, that would have been so much better for us. Again, I'm just I just feel stuck. If we play Justana, 
she dies anyways. So I think the best thing is just slam it. Like, she's going to die at some point if they have a pump spell or challenge spell. And we need her on the board to get our buffs in or else we're not pushing enough damage. At least the Entrancing Lure still trades with Rage Unit Defector. Hmm. Well, we could kill their other unit. That seems fine. Probably, probably better than developing because the units aren't killing anything. But I guess our, our units, our Grimmel Slugs also just traded the Hookmaster. So maybe I just go face. Hmm. Sure. We're gonna, we're gonna have to do damage somehow, you know. And then I'll block here. So it puts it into trading range. And I won't block this right now because I don't want them to be able to re-equip their range knight effector and heal it up. I don't feel like we have any good AoE pump spells though to help finish off the game. Like we rely so much on might on like a huge unit to finish the game. Like um what if we played like Sneezy Pickle Dust? You know what I mean? That I feel like that'd be really good for pumping our whole board. I think I'm just going to swing in with extra units here rather than the might this turn. I'm a little spooked about what they're holding up, <laughs> but... Okay. Maybe I messed up again. We have blockers though. They'll run out of gas and you can finish them off. That's my hope. In just a mere risk, I tend to go for units instead of trying to race to the Nexus. Yeah, I feel like they don't have many good units. Like a 1 3 and this 2 1 are, are kind of whatever. If we get desperate, we can kind of chump like this. Like, we're mostly just worried about the one turn combo with Varus Overwhelm more than anything else. Tricky. Ferris could level this turn. Is it likely? I think we I think we should block because we have so many units. But it'll give them an excuse to use momentous choice. But like if we take this damage and they level Varus, we kinda just lose. We just don't have any way to stop that. Because, yeah, if they have one, like, Momentous Choice, Offense, Offense, they're still at the 6 anyways, and they're pushing more damage. Scout. Scout. Two damage on our elusive seems good, or if we hit Tristana off the top. Sure, I'll take that. Ooh! No attack. I like that. Ten of Terror. Interesting. 
Well, what do we do? Open attack, is that enough to even finish them? I think we kind of just die by next turn. I just don't think we have the damage in our hand here. Maybe there's a chance they can't kill us with Varus. Might pushes 5 damage, so they go down to 3. That opens up an avenue to win with Fervor. And we're not doing much else. We can't kill this. We can kill Varus with Might, so I think I'm just going to try to put us into a spot where we can win if we hit Fervor off the top. Because we still have enough units to refill our hand. Or I guess Unforgiving Fold. Oh, Double Furious Wheel, they're interesting. Okay. Well, that's a lot of cards out of their hand that resets Varus's strike, so again, maybe they just don't have enough damage to finish off by our next attack. It's certainly a close game, though. I think another Might or a Brother's Bond would also be a good draw. I was a little worried they'd play Naganeka there. I like that chain of corruption, that's pretty artwork. Are we dead? I think we might be. If they're going for lethal, wouldn't like wouldn't you go after the X ones? So maybe we're not dead. Okay, <laughs> maybe now we're dead. Free kill here. Just going for it, okay. Yeah, rough. GG. That was a good game. Uzuim's obviously a good player, and I don't think I played that game perfectly well. <laughs> I don't know, I had a lot of fun with the deck, but I felt like there were a lot of things I was missing. Like, I just didn't quite understand the proper sequencing. But yeah, I had fun. It's obviously been doing extraordinarily well. I think it's like a 58% win rate. Couldn't quite grab a ton of wins with it, though. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was quite as good as the Atrocity version. I just felt like a lot of times my units were too small. Maybe I should keep Bandle Gunners more, but that seems kind of meh. I don't know. It was fun. I might experiment with it a bit more, because I did enjoy playing with it. And... It might be a pretty popular aggro deck, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm kind of interested in playing that Diana Jack uh, Aurelian Soul deck. That looked pretty cool, so I'll probably try that, look around at some different lists. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you have a good one.